like we've just missed a baby being born. She's still wet and she's still wobbly on her feet oh. and the mum's licking her. Oh, adorable. What a lovely place for a cow to have a baby, nice and secluded and quiet. Yeah, and she's, she's trying to find the others. Oh, so sweet. You're at the wrong end, darling. Oh, look. Oh. Nearly. The umbilical cord dangling. Now there's a helicopter going over. How lovely to be born on a warm spring day. She's wagging her tail. Yeah. Come on, run. Run this way. Hard to tell. I don't know if she's on or not. She's on. Oh. <laughs> I hope it's not too windy. Oh no, that looks like that's my compost arriving. That is what Ted's been doing. He's been rolling the field. And here is Ted. That great big roller on the back. <laughs> He's waving at us. Yep. Yeah, he loves it. His little tractor there. I've just put makeup on to go and do the gardening because it cheers me up. And gardening depresses me. Little first floor tour. That's our bedroom. Ted's bedroom. Wardrobes. The rest of it's a tip. See what I mean? Messy poo, toothpaste, laundry, laundry, sports kit, 
laundry. He <laughs> silly. to the greenhouse it's windy out there and it's cold and I've got lots and lots of jobs to do um I hate gardening I've never got into it I do it out of duty it's a bit like for me if I want to wear clean clothes I have to do the laundry if I want to have a nice garden I have to do the gardening I don't like it there are some bits of it that I do enjoy I like growing seeds I'll show you what I've got going on here but I don't like the heavy stuff. I don't like the muddy stuff. I don't like the digging. Here I've got sweet peas. Some of them haven't come up. They look like they need a little bit of water actually. Um, these are some plants that my friend gave me. She gave me a little uh, key of what is what. Um, I've got some scarlet runner beans here. Um, I've got some tomatoes from another friend. Oh, what's coming up here? Straw flowers. Oh, they're the ones, seeds that Cherie sent me. I need to turn these around. I've got some golden GM. Oh, nothing else has come up yet. I'll show you what I've got when they come up. Um, I haven't been able to go to my butchers through lockdown and fill up my own Tupperwares. So, I've been, oh look. So I've been repurposing the chicken containers as little greenhouses. Oh look, they're looking all right, aren't they? Let's pop that on there then. When I sewed, oh, they're Granny's cornflowers. Lots of things not doing anything yet, but they will, they will. I think this is Scarlet Cow. Turnip greens. Scarlet Cow. Oh, I think I messed that up because I watered it and lost a load of them. What we got in here then? I've got some Chinese asters there from Cherie as well. Um, I don't know what that was. None of my tomatoes are coming up yet. I'm sure they will do at some point. Anyway, it's a blinking mess in here. And... <sighs> Got some dahlias my friend Lou sent me. Oh, that's coming up. Cafe au lait. I hope this one comes up as well. Oh yeah, it is. That one's coming up. And then I've got Wizard of Oz here, again from Lou. Um, they're a bit slower. So my job for today is to move some soil. We've got delivered a whole mountain 
of um, compost. It's the stuff that our um, council collects it, our um, garden waste, and then they take it off and they turn it into compost. So I ordered four tonnes of that and I'm going to fill up my bed here, tomato bed, and also behind me there, I've been clearing that and that needs top dressing. Oh, this is such a boring thing to talk about. Bye. Bye. <laughs> you got a smile for your mother. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to go and thumb a lift. I want to. I want to go in the tractor. I'm going to get my boy to pick me up. I won't be able to use this footage. <laughs> Whee! Off we go! So what does this rolling do then? What's the purpose of it, Ted? Uh, it packs down the ground a bit and compacts like down the ground. Bent the grass seeds over so it grows more. Alright. It pushes in the rocks in. So it bends the grass over so that it grows more, yeah. grows longer, because it has to, I suppose it tries to recover. What else does it do? It pushes the rocks down. Pushes and, um, the rocks down. Flatten out the rocks. Flatten out the rocks. Really it's going to be bumpy. Oh, the seat I'm on just buckled down underneath me. That's just bumpy. Uh -huh. Do you want to see the bumpy bit? You love doing this, do you? Yeah, it's satisfying. Satisfying, yeah. Apart from when you go into a bad hole, that hurts. I feel a bit seasick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like that. I just want on my shoulder. Oh, look at that view. Look at that view. You're <laughs> hiding <laughs> <in> my face. <laughs> Wobbly footage. So what I've got going on is um, we've cleared all of this out. This was all overgrown shrubs and goodness knows what. And we've cleared all of that out. And I've got a fruit cage there that's half completed. Noisy. <laughs> that's my boy. Oh, I'm sure he was only born yesterday. Now he's 13 years old and working on a farm. Living his dream. This was also all self-seeded saplings and goodness knows what they just was it was there was it was chaos brambles and all sorts so cleared all of this out now I'm covering it all with cardboard as much as pos I mean I'm not going to cover up my grape hyacinths and the bluebells that pop up here but I've got a lot of this ground elder so I'm covering up oh windy covering up the soil and then I'll put a load of compost on the top really thick compost and I'm going to grow pumpkins in here so their leaves will shade everything and I'm going to grow climbing things up these old trellises that used to be part of my chicken coop when I had chickens and um, slowly but surely reclaim this bit of land I'm growing some Mexican speak Mexican tagetes because the enzymes in their roots 
kill this ground elder and lots of other perennial weeds. So I should be planting those on this patch as well. And all the way up there. Hey Bill! Hello. How are you doing? Good work! Your feet are really wet. Your feet are really wet. Do you think you should have worn some welly boots? No, I Okay, you're doing a good job, Bill. Toby has just rigged up out of some pallets that he's brought back from work. A little composting station. I'll flip you around. So we've got three bays. And I believe the idea is you have a bay you're filling. I think you're going to turn it. Some things say you fill that one, then you turn it into that one. Continue filling that one, and then you turn that one into that one. And, put... and then others just say fill it. And when that's full, leave it and then fill that one. I don't know. I don't know. I'll find a way that works for us. So I'm just tidying this up, but I need to run in now because... I've got um, hot cross buns in the oven. I'm on my way in the house because I've got hot cross buns in the oven. I messed them up, so I'm, I messed them up the first time. So this is, I've got a second batch in the bread machine making the dough now. Hopefully it'll be okay. Um, gardening like mad I'm absolutely tired out of top dressed borders <sighs> we're having pizza tonight so I'm just just got some dough whoops proving um, I don't feel very warm now I'm gonna move them I've moved them to there I've pulled the shelf out Hopefully that will stop the dog from getting it because you're, <laughs> yeah, you know I'm talking about you, little street dog. Uh oh, can you smell it? Hmm, might not be the best idea to leave it there. Where am I going to put it then? Bunny is known for stealing food, but I would too if I had her history. Now Toby found a chipper. I, was, I wanted a garden chipper and they, they were about 200 to 400 pounds. He found one on Facebook, 50 quid. Is it any good? Well, it's going to take you freaking hours to do anything with it. I thought he's at the um, <laughs> pre-server space. Do you mean yeah. urchins? Yeah, I need a haircut. <laughs> you do. Look at the state here. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Com I can't criticise. Look at the state of me. We're sitting on the swing. Sun's out. Sun's out. And I've had a horrible day of you. No, I was going to say it's horrible. Do you love gardening? Not really. No. Why do we have two acres? <laughs> yeah. What did, What were we thinking? We were like lambs to the slaughter. We didn't know how much work a property of this size would would mean. Well, I'm glad you spent thousands of pounds on getting some help in. That's not fair. I'm just as upset as you are. <laughs> I'm awfully disappointed. It's going to look good when it's done. <laughs> <laughs> when we finished it. <laughs> I think I was had. Oh, it, it'll be lovely. Grass is going to be lovely this year, hopefully. Yeah. Especially that patch over there. Yeah, well done, Dana. <laughs>
I mean, even an imbecile knows you don't put Roundup on grass. I didn't. I put it on the dandelion. In the grass. They were the only dandelions in the whole lawn. I, I took a while to find them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it does look warm enough. It is time to cook my pizza and I've lost my tripod. In you go, good luck. Oh, shit. It's stuck. Toby said you need to turn it after 30 seconds. Pardon? Wow. This turn, oh, the turning situation might be a bit difficult for me. I didn't turn it. Yeah. Oh, oh, I see. You need to stay up. I can't put that in my film now. Now I can't put that in my film. I thought I'd just have a little chat about our pizza oven because um, I know some of you out there will be interested. It's an uni, oh the wind, and it's the one that you can round the back somewhere. You can you can rig it up with a. Um, Sorry, a car went past. You can rig it up with a gas inlet. We just use old little bits of bits of wood, and this is from the pallets that Toby made a compost composting station with, and we're just using those. Oh, I think my face is overcooked. Oh, slightly singed around the edges. That is wild garlic pesto because it's wild garlic season.
as they can be. Tall grassing songs and trees play a symphony.